out of there. So the whole country is now waiting to see what specific rules will operate in every individual state in every individual area. And already a large number of variations are coming out. So what does lockdown for or relaxation to look like in your individual place of living or work? But it depends entirely on which state you're in and what the specific rules are. So do check them out. Look, it's very clear as to why things need to be done differently. Here's a map of the spread of coronavirus in India. As we've been telling you all along, it's really concentrated in three or four states. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu from the point of view of cases, also Delhi from the point of view of cases, and then in death states like West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh also coming in. So it's concentrated. These are the areas, these are the states that need to be careful. In other parts of the country, the crucial question is going to be, how do we prevent people, now the movement is starting, how do we prevent people from coming in and bringing the infection with them? And the answer to that obviously is, as people are coming in, test them, do contact tracing, do a certain form of screening. And rules for that have been announced. So there's going to be a really tough lockdown in some parts of the country and more relaxation in other areas with continued screening. Let's just take a look at some of the rules that have already been announced. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has announced more relaxations as he announced the extension of lockdown to May 31st. While markets will remain open on an odd-even basis, shops selling essential items can open every day. Buses, autos and taxis can run with limited passengers. Taxis and cabs will be allowed with two passengers, maxi cabs with four passengers. Cars can run with two passengers and buses will be allowed with 20 passengers only. Drivers will be responsible for disinfecting before every ride. Both government and private offices can open but with limited staff. The interstate bus travel will however not be permitted. States and union territories cannot dilute restrictions despite widespread relaxations, the government said on Monday as India went into lockdown 4.0 to fight coronavirus. The Home Ministry has asserted that states and union territories are allowed to ban other services and impose more restrictions if needed. Under the new guidelines enforced from Monday, states will designate red, green and orange zones according to the virus spread. States can take a call on interstate and intrastate transport. In a rather unusual outburst against the centre, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister K. Palani Swami on Monday said the conditions put forth by the union government for additional borrowing were onerous, unreasonable, lacked consensus and above all, not in keeping with the spirit of cooperative federalism. Flagging electricity distribution reform as politically sensitive, the Chief Minister strongly opposed snapping free power supply to farmers and made it categorical that the mode of disbursement of subsidy should be left to the state governments and batted for greater latitude to states to implement reforms. One of the continuation of the centre to states to increase their borrowing limit was discontinuation of free electricity to farmers. The Karnataka government has banned entry of people from Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu and Kerala till May 31st to check the COVID-19 cases. The state government has decided to allow all shops in the state to open as it detailed the contours of lockdown 4.0. Road State Transport Corporation buses and private buses will also run. Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa announced that intrastate train services will also be back on track. The government will impose strict lockdown measures in containment zones and economic activities will be permitted in other areas. Sundays will be total lockdown across the state, the Chief Minister announced. Extending the ongoing lockdown till May 31st in West Bengal, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Monday announced a slew of relaxations and said her government will not impose night curfew in the state as proposed by the centre. Banerjee said hawkers, salon and parlour owners will be allowed to reopen the shops from May 27th. She said that apart from 105 trains, which the state has already requisitioned, the government will request the railways for 120 more Shramik special trains in the next few days to bring back migrant labourers. She said containment zones will be divided into three zones, affected zones, buffer zones and clean zone. The inter-district bus service will also start. 
A number of economic activities restarted in various states as the new lockdown 4.0 with further relaxed norms kicked in on Monday. Barber shops and salons reopened in Karnataka's Hubli, while shops selling footwear bags, helmets, electronic accessories were back in business in Shiliguri in West Bengal. Increased vehicular traffic was seen on the roads of the capital on Monday morning. As part of the fresh guidelines issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs on Sunday, the resumption of non-essential deliveries to all places outside containment zones, including red zones, has been allowed. In the previous directive, the e-commerce deliveries of non-essential items was limited to green and orange zones. As of Monday morning, Amazon India had begun showing delivery dates for non-essential items to customers in red zones as well. Rallying around the World Health Organization, President Xi Jinping said on Monday that China will provide $2 billion US dollars over two years to fight the coronavirus pandemic. The announcement comes as US slashed funding to the UN Health Agency. She said the fund will particularly be used to help developing countries. In a speech to the World Health Assembly, she said China had provided all relevant outbreak data to WHO and other countries, including the virus's genetic sequence, in a most timely fashion.